What poetry eased the grief of royalty? Although Albert Prince Consort was largely responsible for Alfred Lord Tennyson's appointment as Poet Laureate, Queen Victoria became an ardent admirer of Tennyson's work, writing in her diary that she was much soothed and pleased by reading In Memoriam A. H. H. after Albert's death. Tennyson wrote the elegy for his Cambridge friend Arthur Henry Hallam, who died of a cerebral hemorrhage at the tender age of 22. After they first met, Victoria wrote in her diary that Tennyson was very peculiar looking, tall, dark, with a fine head, long black flowing hair and a beard, oddly dressed, but there is no affectation about him. More than two decades later they would meet again, when the Queen chanced to tell him what a comfort his poetry had been to her. I sometimes hold it half a sin to put in words the grief I feel, for words like nature half reveal and half conceal the soul within. I hold it true, whate'er befall, I feel it, when I sorrow most. Tis better to have loved and lost, than never to have loved at all.